So very simple. Um, here on the left hand side, we have the name that we can give the robot, like Robot X Machina or My Robot, whatever, it's up to you. Then in the second drop down, we can choose between uh, the brand of the robot that we're going to interface with. As of this video, only ABB and Universal Robots can be controlled in real time, everything else is offline. So I'm going to choose Universal Robots, all right? And then you don't have to, for this robot, you don't have to care much. The only thing that you need to input is what is the IP that I need in order to connect to this robot, all right? So I'm going to do 192, 168, 0, and 101, which is the IP that I did set in, on this robot to be static, to be always the same, all right? And then if I hit connect, you should be able to wait a little bit and then get some notifications here that everything went well and that we know the XYZ position of the robot, the orientation of the tool, and the values of each one of the six axes, the angle of each one of, these, of the six axes of the robot, all right? There's a couple of things I will go over what this is uh, in a second, but just so you know, here you can choose how much information you can see on this screen. So only error messages, errors and warnings, general information, or everything that is happening like debug, like all the data and all the flow. All right, I can clear this information and here I will see very soon. I, I'm not gonna explain. I'll use see in a second on the videos, all right? So we're ready, we are connected. We are about to start talking and making the robot do fancy things. Let's do it. <laughs> 